What's up, everybody? Uh, Jack Farr here on behalf of box to box Football. I'm here with James. Uh, any donations to uh, my Movember and uh, men's mental health and uh, suicide prevention, link in the uh, description. Um, but obviously, we've just kind of put out a video on one sacking, and James and I are going to jump straight on to another sacking. A um, <laughs> bit more of a major one, I think it's it's fair to say. No disrespect to you uh, Spurs fans out there, but I think, James, you'd agree that, that Barcelona are one of those top three superpowers in, in football in terms of global interest. And Ronald Koeman um, has been uh, let go. Uh, I, I forget the wording that they used on the statement, but it was uh, relieved, relieved, of his of, relieved of his duties. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, I, I saw a lot of great tweets about, I'm sure he is pretty relieved to not be working there anymore. Um, <laughs> but with, with the Barcelona job, obviously not doing super well in La Liga at the moment. Obviously the post-Messi era not going brilliantly. Um, some of the new signings not settling well. Some of the new signings are having real trouble like Kun Aguero. Um, but the next one supposedly coming in with talks on kind of constantly is Xavi Hernandez. Now, James, I know this has kind of Frank Lampard managing Chelsea, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer managing Manchester United type feel to it, but there does seem to be a real sense amongst lots of people in the know around football that Xavi is potentially like a kind of Pep Guardiola quality manager, potentially. What I wanted to ask you, because I certainly know my feelings on this, is this the right time after just one stint in, I believe, Saudi Arabia with Al Saad to take over Barcelona in the predicament they're currently in? Um, I think it's the right time. I like, I get it. It isn't at a uh, Pep Guardiola time where, like, okay, uh, Messi was Messi just won a gold medal, and you you can see him becoming the best player in the world. And Xavi, Iniesta, Puyol, the majority of them man just came off a big. Uh, European win with Spain. No, it's not like that. But he's going to come into a very, very young Barcelona team with so much potential there that will develop in, in maybe not be as great as that um, Barcelona no, the team in the past, but they're going to be one of the best teams in Europe, Jack. That's that's but, the one upside, the one upside I look at. Because Javi, correct me if I'm wrong, Javi is a, is a La Masia graduate, right? Yes, yes, right. yes. You've got Gavi, right? Pedri and Sufati. Yeah, like I'm trying to think of like all the all the players there because there's a bunch actually of, of kind of younger kids who are coming through. I remember doing a video with Timmy looking at the younger talent coming through. And at the end of the video, I remember thinking to myself, like, the squad's actually not in bad shape at all. They've got some academy kids coming through who could be worth hundreds of millions of pounds at some point in the future. So Xavi, with his knowledge of what that experience is like, you'd argue there's no better person to do that, right? And But Jack, we can also mention the fact that Desk is quite young too. You have Memphis Depay, who's like, I'm coming into his prime at this moment of time. Then Bele, who isn't, that old there yeah, and, and like Frankie De Jong, who's I think 24, 25. I'm 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 not sure exactly what age he's at, but he's but he's quite young. So here's a Barcelona team that in the next two, three, four years are gonna develop into a top side. You know, now the thing with Coleman that that I seen was that he was never ever the man for the job. They were only bringing him in just to kind of steady the ship, just kind of get past this bad time. Xavi to me was always prone um, prone for this job. I remember I did a video with Timmy. I'm talking after like after the Valverde sacking and we're talking about Xavi and he was saying not quite sure if it's the time yet but if he's ready to take it he's ready to take it and we were talking about that in 2019 flash it's coming up to 2020 now and I'm, and I'm looking at Xavi right now I, I watched one of his um coaching videos on like um on like Coach's the YouTube voice. side yeah yeah yeah, yeah Coach's I saw voice it. And, yeah and in, in like you in like you seen it his knowledge of the game is brilliant, Jack. This is this this is not a guy who just always oh, going to base it on his footballing experience. No, this guy understands the game, you know. And like the way that he was breaking down, he went like he like he talked about how he plays the four four three in like the different rotations he has there. How like he wants his wing backs to literally become wingers, like like out like like out and out wide wingers. He wants two attacking midfielders playing um 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 playing in like a double pivot, splitting um um splitting playing in like two different pockets. He wants his um he wants his strikers linking up with his um um with his attacking midfielders and, and all this type of things about movement, space, third man runs. It 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 just sounds genius. And yes, right. it's only theory, 
But here's a guy who's played at the high level, who is arguably the greatest midfielder we've ever seen, knows what it's like to win with Barcelona, knows what it's like to come from the academy, the academy. has learnt under Pep Guardiola. And we all know what Barcelona like about bringing in one of their own. Now, Coleman is actually one of their own because she was the one who won Barcelona their first one, first um, Champions League. But Xavi is like, if you're talking about Barcelona's greatest players, he's top five. Also, and, and like also look- I, I think an underrated, I think a massively underrated part of the hire, if it goes through, you know, if Xavi wants to get a feel for the dressing room, do you not think he just picks up the phone to his pal Gerard Piquet, right? Do you not think he just picks up the phone to to like the the tens, maybe even hundreds of people that he knows at the entirety of the club just to figure out what's going on and what's best? The one thing I'll say, because I appreciate everything you've said on the theory side of things, you know, do we not think that Andrea Perlo is one of the smartest football operators we've ever seen? You know, do we not look at a bunch of ex-players, especially in the central midfield position, maybe in more of a defensive position as well, and go, they have a real good understanding for a game, a real good feel for the game. They've done it for so long. They live and breathe it, all that kind of stuff. And then it not work out. But Jack, the difference is with someone like an Arteta or a Perlo is that Xavi's won his theory, but we also seen it in practice too. If you go watch what he's doing with that, our side team, I think they're dominating um, in the leagues and in, in, in like in the cups over there. And the way that they play, the way that they've made teams like frighten how, them. How dominate. much? How much do you buy into that it being the Saudi Arabian league? Like, how, how much of that do you think is then transferable to such a step up like La Liga? No disrespect to the Saudi Arabian league, but I think every yeah. viewer of the Saudi Arabian league would agree that La Liga is quite a step up. Yeah, I get it. The league comparison is not there. But f- when when we're talking about Perlo and, and Arteta, that one was just theory-based. We've seen um, Xavi do it in practice. Now, the question is, can he translate that to Barcelona? But here's a guy who's not just like, he's not just a guy who's been a coach for just outside. Jack, Jack he knows the Barcelona DNA. He knows what it takes to win for right. Barcelona. He knows what it takes for Barcelona to dominate at the highest of levels. And yes, Pep Guardiola, I know I'm not the biggest fan of a Pep Guardiola reference, but even Pep was saying in 2019 that this guy's going to be one of the best coaches in the world. I believe in Xavi. I believe that he will come into that Barcelona job. And yes, they're going to need to be patient with him because it's not going to be rosy straight off, like, off the bat. But... The star that he can bring in is what Barcelona want. Because Barcelona are not just all about winning. No. They love this. They, there is they, a they, style. They're, 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 yep. they're obsessed with this. they got to be playing this high-pressing way, keeping the ball, entertainment, all, all that sort of stuff there. And that's what Xavi does. So I can't, to, both to, teams go hand in hand. To me, though, mate, it is about timing. And that's the thing that bothers me. Frank Lampard went to Chelsea too early. I don't care, I don't care who you are. Frank Lampard went to Chelsea too early. Um, if Steven Gerrard, he definitely will. If Steven Gerrard manages Liverpool, it's going to be about timing. Does Jurgen Klopp go and then Steven Gerrard have to follow in the footsteps of Jurgen Klopp? I just don't know about that in terms of timing. I'm not saying that you get one shot at it, but from the romanticism and the beauty of the story kind of thing, you don't want to do it, fail, and then like, five years later, do it again and then have success. You want to just come in and have the success. And for me, the post-Messi era, the financial situation at the football club as well, we're seeing certain players not, like certain new signings, not quite gel perfectly. I mean, you know, Sergio Aguero, I know he had has his uh, health issues to deal with right now. Squad Hopefully turnover. Yep, fingers crossed. Um you know, the squad turnover, certain kind of players who've been real staples, who who are like slowly, you know, ended up leaving the club. It feels like PK is basically the only one left of, of kind of all those great teams from the past. I just don't know, timing wise, whether it's the best thing for Xavi to do. I'm not going to doubt his managerial ability, but in the exact same way that I think when you come in and there's a certain level of less pressure you're always going to have pressure in the Barcelona job I'm not even going to pretend that you won't but I just think timing wise I I, to a certain extent I don't know if there's a worse time to take a Barcelona football manager job for somebody like Javi and I just don't want them to mess it up because it might not be Javi's fault James that's the thing if Javi doesn't do a good job it might not even be his fault 
But, but Jack, what's the biggest thing with Coleman, like when he signed, is that we looked at the Barcelona team and be like, they're not as bad as what we see when Coleman's in charge. Right. This Barcelona team isn't that bad that we're seeing them getting destroyed by by by, by PSG. Right. Um, in like in the league, underperforming teams coming to the new camp and not just having a goal, but believing that they're gonna win, Jack. You know, this is a, like I I look at this Barcelona team like what Memphis Depay, Ansu Fati, Sergio, um, Aguero, Philippe, Coutinho, Dembele, Frankie De Jong, Sergio Busquets. Like Jack, this is a good team. I, yeah, this, hey, is, I, this, is, this is a talented like, team. Mm -hmm. And, and like listen you said, to the names I've just in off. a couple years, some of those youth players, nearly I'd argue, nearly all of them might be worth over a hundred million pounds yeah. on the market for but, real. So true. But I just, also, like, like my, my 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 fear, mate, is. For every Zidane at Real Madrid, there's a Lampard at Chelsea. And I'd hate for Xavi to go down that kind of worse path. Well, have... Lampard wasn't that bad at Chelsea, Jeff. No, he, he wasn't. No, he, he wasn't. But this is, the, this is the poster boy. The poster boy of Chelsea Football Club. And he was in the job how long? Do you know what I mean? 18 months? I'm just saying, what you want, I think, is this, that successful four, five-year you know, give or take rain and then to, and then to, you know, uh, leave, leave your, leave your, your boots and your hat in the ring and your robe in the ring and then go. Right. Um, and then come back a few months later, Jack. <laughs> and then come out of the casket. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I just, I'd hate for that to be Javi's story. I have no doubts with him as a coach. I just think that so much of football is circumstance and timing. And I, I'm, I fear for Javi in the timing sense. Oh, I feel like, if you're not going to do it now, when can you do? Because ge generally, like, who else can Barcelona bring at this time? Like, Jack, the maddest thing for me, for me, it's crazy to think that, but I don't think the Barcelona job is that as attractive as it used to be, Jack. I don't, I, I look at where they're at right now and not, I don't think managers will be clamoring, oh, give me the Barcelona job. Well, no, it no, wasn't Messi, like the, no Messi probably plays quite a big part makes, in that. It, it, <laughs> like, like it, it makes a huge difference there. So I don't think the candidates are like, Mad and crazy, but I'm talking when I talk candidates, of course, there's people gonna want the Barcelona job. I'm talking top level candidates, right? I don't think I don't, like I don't think it's gonna be like that. But Javi, I mean, if you if you're gonna experiment with someone, why not experiment with a club legend who has had experience with managing, yeah. you know, and is and knows what this culture is like with Barcelona? I just hope that the board help him and also the, the fans give him time because it would be a cool story to see someone like Javi. Come back, but and it's football. It's 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 a rootless game. It yeah, could be out. And if it doesn't, tell with pitchforks and knives. And if it doesn't work out with Xavi, you know, we could just wait like you know 10, 15 years, and then Messi's eldest son and Pep Guardiola <laughs> can come back, and you know, we just we just uh, we do a take two. Um, but you guys, uh, let us know what you think. Uh, should Ronald Koeman have been sacked? Yes. Um, should Javi take the job? I mean, obviously it's not been announced yet, but but talks are ongoing. If not Javi, who should it be? Please drop a like on the video if you like what you've seen. Please subscribe on the road to 500 subscribers. Really appreciate your support. Hit the bell as well to get notifications for when we do videos such as these, but also when we go live, we do like interacting with you guys as and when we can. Um, James, anything else from you? Guys. Let us know what you uh, your opinions on this, and also please like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you next time.